In this video, we're going to look at a virtual image produced by reflection in a plane mirror. So basically what I've got is a situation here where I've got a plane mirror here. Then in front of it, I've got a wee candle. I've then got some, it's sitting on some paper, and I've got a polystyrene base as well to, to put some pins into. Now these pins you can see here are just uh, normal pins. What I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange them in line with the reflection to show that the virtual image actually sits behind the mirror. So here's my candle and here's my virtual image and you can see it's sitting, seems to be sitting behind the mirror. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pins and I'm going to place them in the polystyrene board on the sheet of paper in line with the, ref with the um, reflection. So there's the reflection we've got here, so there's my first pin. Okay, now a single pin on its own won't won't help me. So I'm going to put a second pin in and try and put it in line with that reflection. I'll just lift it up so that you can see what's going on. Okay, so here's the second pin. You have to excuse me a minute, but I've just got to um, line it all up. Here we go. So I'm trying to line up the pin with the reflection. You can see that now I've got the two pins sitting in line with the reflection. So they're going to form an initial line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to have a look at another reflection from another situation. So you can see here again I've got my candle in the front, I've got the reflection in the back of the mirror and what I'm going to try and do is line them up with another set of pins. So I'll just get my pins and put it in. Now it's hard to do with trying to line it up with the camera, so there will be a little bit of error. So there's my cap, my candle, just so that you're aware. There's my reflection. Now that's one pin in. Now you can see here it's slightly out. That's just because I can't get uh, my head in the way with the with respect to the camera. But you can see now I've got the lines all set up. So I've got two sets of lines with the pins and if I just move the, the board slightly you can see those second sets of pins line up neatly with the reflection. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at these lines. So what we're now going to do is to see how the virtual image is going to be formed. So I've now to, got a shot over the top of the um, setup so you can see the paper, the candle, the mirror and my two sets of pins which basically were in line with the um, the initial uh, image. So I'm going to remove the uh, mirror. Now I've put a line on the paper just so that I know that the mirror is in the correct spot. What I'm going to do using my ruler I'm going to join up the or make a line which um, basically goes through both of the pins. Now, a little bit flimsy but I'll just pop it back in. I'll get my pin and all I'm going to do is pass that line it's going to go straight through the mirror and you'll see why in a minute because basically what we're trying to do here is to um, see where the two uh, refractive or incident rays are basically going to be um, produced. Now remember these, these lines actually are um, reflection lines coming off the mirror and that's what we're seeing with respect to um, our image. So I'll take my second line, I'll just draw that in there, excellent, and you can see now that it crosses. Now where it crosses, that is where my image is going to be. Now what you've got to imagine is, if I was to look down each of those black lines, that is my reflection, that is where I am seeing the image, and as a result you can see why the mirror um, it, in the mirror it looks further away. Now I'm going to measure the distance from the candle to the mirror and then from the mirror to the um, idea of where the image is. And we're sitting around about six and a half centimeters from the candle to uh, the mirror. So I'll just take that off. Yeah, six and a, about six and a half centimeters. Now what I'm going to do is the same thing here, 
and you can see basically the image is formed six and a half centimeters. So it's equidistant, so it's the same distance behind the mirror as it is in front of the mirror. Now that's useful when we're, we're actually thinking about what's happening with our image. Now remember it's virtual because it's sitting behind the mirror. So I'm just going to lob in uh, 6.5, 6.5 in each area it's just to basically highlight that we're equidistant from each point. So now we're going to see our image formation on the actual sheet. So I've, I've gone back to my original position and I've got my uh, mirror there. And what I've got is my candle, my image, and I've got my two lines which have been my reflected lines. So what I'm going to do is shine the camera down the um, two lines to show exactly where the image is formed. Now you can see here that there's the image where my thumb is, and as I lift it up, there's the image behind. And that's where I would be expecting to see my image in each point. If we look down the other reflection line, I put my mirror back in. Okay, now you can see where the image is. Now the pin should be roughly in the same place. So there's my image in the, in the um, mirror. If I lift it up, what we'll notice is hopefully the pin will be in the correct place. Now if you were to do this, it would be in more detail. Now you can see slightly that it's um, slightly out, um, but that's not too bad. It proves the point so that we've got this virtual image which is actually sitting behind the mirror where the pin is right there. Okay, thank you for watching.